What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is Coach Lloyd from thenewwayfitness.com. Today is April 28th, Saturday, and I wanted to make a quick update video, let you guys know what's been going on. Last time I left you, we were in starting strength session 13, I believe. If I'm wrong, sorry, but I'm not looking at my channel right now on YouTube. But we were doing the starting strength workout, which we're still doing. Um, today's was session number 15, and I thought I'd make a video today because um, we hit an important max on uh, the back squats. I talked about it for a lot of videos. I said eventually I'm going to hit the max on the squats and not be able to do any more um, with that technique. And today that kind of happened. Um, originally we were doing the power clean, power clean up, behind your head, squat, clean it back over your head, and then put it down. So you're doing two cleans per every um, five or per every set. So it's pretty hard. Um, I decided to try to do front squats instead. So you just power clean it up once, rest it here, squat, and then drop it down. So um, we tried to do the 125 pounds, which was today's weight. Um, previously, our last workout, we successfully did 120 pounds with the back squat, cleaning it twice. Today, um, I wasn't able to do the um, back squat. I tried to do the front squat. I was able to do two reps with the front squat at 125 pounds, but just trying to do it, you know, you know when you're at your limit, and sometimes you know you can push beyond even though you don't want to. Sometimes you realize that you, if you push beyond, you may hurt yourself. So that was kind of the situation I was in today. It was either push, and try to show off and say, yeah, I did it without a squat rack at 125 pounds, which is good for my weight size, or possibly hurt myself, or just you know do what you can. If you can't do it, then switch techniques. So two, after two reps, I could tell that you know I should switch the technique. So we switched to hack squats instead. Um, we finished it off by doing the three on the first set, and then for each uh, second set and third set, we did the five reps. Um, of hack squats at 125 pounds. If you don't know what a hack squat is, I have a video about it on my channel, but basically it's just a reverse deadlift. Um, it doesn't work quite as well on the quads as a, a normal squat does, but do what you can. The next exercise was bench press, three sets of five reps at 130 pounds. That went pretty good. The bench press is starting to get harder. Originally, um, you know, it was at like 60 pounds, but it, gro it goes up every 5-10 pounds per workout. So, um, you know, that was like an 8 out of 10 on the intensity level, meaning like a 10 is you're right at your max, 8, you're getting there. Um, and then the third exercise was pull-ups. You do three sets to failure. I think starting last week or the week before, I decided to use my weighted vest, 20-pound weighted vest. I haven't used that in a while. And uh, on pull-ups and chin-ups, it works great. It gives you a lot of increased strength. It lowers your rep count because you're wearing a 20-pound weighted vest, but you do better um, and you get stronger, actually. So, uh, first set, we did eight reps with the 20-pound vest on. Second set, we did four reps. Third set, we did uh, six reps. So, not too bad with the, the vest on. Overall, the whole workout took about 54 minutes, which is the longest workout I've had thus far. Probably because I had to fool around with the squats and kind of see what works, what doesn't, and if I was really at my max, I had to switch forms, things like that. As far as the intensity, I would say today was probably 8.5 out of 10. Um, I did take two scoops of C4 pre-workout, which helped, but I had a phone call, so I didn't get to work out during the prime time of when C4 kicks in, which is usually about 15 to 20 minutes after you take it. Post-workout, I took um, five grams creatine and one animal pack. After this video, I'm gonna take one scoop of uh, Serious Mass, get some calories that were lost during the workout, get some vitamins, minerals as well, and also get some protein in. Overall, the workout schedule with this is going good. I feel like I'm getting stronger. Originally when I had to switch to hack squats, I think it was like 110, 105 or something. And now I didn't have to switch until 120, uh, which is good. It means I'm getting stronger and progressing. 
So the main moral of today's video, if you made it to the end of the video, um, leave a comment with the word consistency is key because honestly consistency is key in these workouts and any workout you do in anything in life you have to stay consistent with it because if I only did this workout once and gave up or if I just did it once a month or once a week I wouldn't see results same with P90X if you do it for just one round 90 days and that's it you're only gonna have 90 days worth and those results are gonna stay with you for maybe like five weeks at the most and then after that your results are gonna diminish because you're not working your body and then you're gonna go back to how you looked before. So consistency is key. Stay with it and just keep you know doing your best every day. Keep showing up to your workouts. Keep showing up to P90X or Insanity, whatever you're doing. And just hit play and do your best. You know, today I really, really wanted to continue to do back squats. Sometimes I have dreams and I'm like, oh man, I gotta do a workout with really heavy back squat and it's not gonna be fun because it's gonna hurt, it's gonna be tough. But I showed up today, I tried my best to not have to do hack squats, but you know, my body told me, hey, you know, you're maxed out with that size, you need to do hack squats for a little bit. So that's what we're doing now. You know, it is what it is, life goes on. Consistency is key. If you made it all the way to the end, leave a comment below and say blank, 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 consistency is key, or use that phrase in a comment. That'll let me know that you made it to the end of the video and you get a gold star. So, this has been Coach Lloyd at thenewwayfitness.com. If you guys have any questions, comment, need advice, or anything, check out our website right here. You guys have a good day and we'll see you in the next video.